most popular fruits on the keto diet is the avocado. And it's popular because it's filled with fat, so it's gonna keep you full when you eat it. And it's also lower in carbs. I mean, sure, the total carbs are kinda higher, but it's filled with lots of fiber. So the net carbs, I think in one avocado, a medium-sized avocado, there's like two and a half grams of net carbs. So it's the ideal keto food. Now the way that most of us use avocado on the keto diet is either by making guacamole or just having a couple slices of this on the side of our meal, but there's actually a ton of different ways that you can have avocado on the keto diet. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, before we get started on the ways that I like to use avocado on the keto diet, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Just hit that button down below and hit the notification bell. So you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. And I also wanted to go over how you can tell if an avocado is ripe. So we've all seen those funny memes about an avocado is ripe and perfect one minute and then like a minute later it turns brown and ugly. And it's no joke, this is real. So when you're at the supermarket, the best way to find a ripe avocado is by three ways. The first way is the color. So you want an avocado to be like a dark green, almost blackish color. That usually says that it's ripe. If it's green, it's usually not ripe yet, it's underripe. Um, and then a total black color is usually overripe. Another way you can tell if the avocado is ripe is by giving it a good squeeze. So if you squish it together and it just kind of springs back a little bit, usually that's ripe. If it's too squishy, it's overripe. If it's rock hard, then it's underripe. And the last way is by peeling off the stem. So when you peel off the stem, if it's this beautiful green avocado color, then it's ripe and ready to pick. If it's if you peel it off and it's brown underneath, that usually means it's overripe. So those three ways together will help you in selecting the perfect avocado. Now the first way that I like to have an avocado on the keto diet is just slicing it in half and putting on my favorite topping. So I traditionally like to use salt. This is something I like to do for lunch, just sprinkle a little bit of salt on top and that'll be my lunch for the day. Or you could use everything but the bagel seasoning that you can pick up at a lot of different grocery stores will have that seasoning and it's delicious on top of an avocado. Another way to have avocado on the keto diet is to make pudding out of it. So avocado, the flesh of an avocado is very, very thick. So you can use it as like a thickener or a, a base for puddings a lot of the times. So I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate protein pudding. To make keto chocolate pudding, you're gonna need a blender or food processor and two avocados. So add two avocados to our blender. And next we're gonna add our chocolate flavoring and some protein powder. And the protein powder, it's a great way to sneak in extra protein, especially if you're making this for kids. And the protein powder I'm gonna to use today is this one, it's by Love Good Fats. I love this stuff. They have keto approved protein powder. They have a chocolate and vanilla one. They also make bars too. I love their salted caramel chewy bars. It's really, really good. It's a great snack option or a meal when you're on the go and you don't have time. They make all sorts of chocolate bars, so definitely check them out. I'll have their information linked down below for you guys. They sponsored this video, and I just thought, what a better way to showcase their delicious protein than to add it to this chocolate pudding recipe. So you're gonna need one scoop of their protein powder. If you didn't wanna use their protein powder, you could substitute with cocoa powder. I'll have that listed down below for you guys. You'll need one third cup of macadamia nut milk or heavy cream, or you could use a nut milk of your choice. It doesn't have to be macadamia nut milk. Two teaspoons of vanilla and a pinch of cinnamon. We're gonna blend this together until it's smooth, add it to your bowl and then chill it for about 30 minutes. And then when you're done, it's delicious and ready to eat. You could top it with some whipped cream for an added extra treat. My kids love this stuff. It's super, super creamy thanks to the avocado and packed with lots of protein thanks for the love good fats. Another way that you could use avocado as a thickener is to add it to your smoothie. So a lot of times smoothies would traditionally have banana in it. It would serve as the sweetener and the thickener in a smoothie. And obviously we can't have bananas on the keto diet because they're full of carbs and sugar. So an avocado actually will replace that as a thickener. I have a recipe on my website. It's how to make a creamy raspberry avocado smoothie. This thing is delicious. It makes the perfect keto breakfast. I'll have it linked down below for you guys on where you can find the recipe. Also click up here because I show you how to make it in this video too. 
Another way to use avocado on the keto diet is to use it as a fat substitute. I like to use it in baking. So I'm gonna show you how to make avocado chocolate brownies. To a food processor, we're gonna add one avocado, one third cup of cocoa powder, two eggs, one third cup of sweetener of your choice. I'm gonna be using a monk fruit blend, but you could use straight erythritol if you want to. A quarter cup of butter, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna blend this together in the food processor until it's smooth and creamy. Then we're gonna add it to a parchment lined baking dish and we're gonna bake it in a 325 degree oven for around 35, 45 minutes. You know your brownies are ready when they come out of the oven and it's not jiggly at all when you give it a good shake. These brownies are super moist and fudgy thanks to the avocado, and I designed this recipe to be nut-free and sugar-free too. You could even make it dairy-free if you wanted to, just substitute some ghee for, or some coconut oil for the butter. Another sweet way to enjoy an avocado is in a popsicle, and I have a recipe on my website for keto avocado popsicles. These popsicles are dairy-free, creamy, and just ever so slightly sweet. They're delicious. To make the popsicles, all you need is two avocados, a half a cup of macadamia nut milk, two to three tablespoons of erythritol or a monk fruit blend, plus one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend it together and then pour it into your popsicle molds, freeze them, and then you have popsicles. I know this sounds weird, but it, trust me, it actually, they're very, very good popsicles. Now I wanna show you some more savory recipes that use avocado. First up is a condiment. So I wanna show you how to make avocado mayo. Now I'm not gonna actually use the flesh of the avocado in here, although a lot of people do that to make an avocado-based mayonnaise. I'm gonna show you how to use avocado oil to make mayonnaise. The first thing you're gonna need is a food processor. Now there's other ways that you can make mayonnaise besides using a food processor. You could actually do it by hand using a wire whisk, and I've done that before. Um, it just takes up a little bit longer, but you're just gonna be whisking up the egg yolks with some lemon juice and then slowly drizzling in your oil. Whatever method you use, the key is to slowly drizzle in the oil. Otherwise, if you add it in too quickly, your emulsion's gonna to break and you're left with separated fat with liquid and it's just like it's a big liquidy mess it's more of like you could actually make an aioli like that too um, but it's not mayonnaise so the key is to ever so slowly add in your oil so to our food processor we have two egg yolks I'm gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is actually just gonna help stabilize that emulsion one and a half teaspoons of salt and two tablespoons of water you wanna start by mixing that together, and then now we're gonna slowly drizzle in two cups of avocado oil. And as it mixes, it starts to thicken up and just continue to slowly drizzle it in throughout the whole process to get that oil all mixed up into tiny little bubbles and into form an emulsion, however an emulsion is formed. I don't remember that from physics or chemistry class, but I know what happens. Once all of your avocado oil has been added, now your mayonnaise is done. And you can store it in a mason jar or some sort of a container. It'll stay fresh in the refrigerator for about a week, maybe two weeks, it depends on how fresh your egg yolks were, but safely in the refrigerator for about a week or two. And now I know I told you that we weren't gonna be talking about guacamole, but I do wanna talk about it because I'm gonna use guacamole to make my next dish, which is a guacamole taco dip, and this is delicious. If you guys remember those seven layer bean dips that used to be around, super popular around party times and potlucks, well, this is like a keto version of it, and it starts by layering down guacamole onto a dish. And then you can add the rest of your toppings, like red onions, green olives, you can do green onions, cheese, pico de gallo, sour cream. And on topping that, I'm pouring down some cooked taco meat, top with some shredded lettuce and some more cheese, and it's delicious. Serve it with some pork rinds, maybe some celery. There's even some keto tortilla chips out there. Whatever you wanna use, this makes the perfect party dish, and it replaces that seven layer bean dip. 
My next way to use avocado on the keto diet is to make french fries from avocado. Now I have this recipe on my website. I make french fries in the air fryer using avocados. So to start, you wanna slice up your avocados into little strips. And I have three bowls here. The first bowl is gonna have some almond flour with one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and a half a teaspoon of salt. The middle bowl is gonna have some eggs mixed up with some water. And the third bowl is ground pork rinds mixed up with some garlic powder and cayenne pepper. And I'm gonna have the full recipe listed for you guys down below so you don't have to worry about jotting all this stuff down. But basically we're gonna take our sliced avocado, dip it in the almond flour layer first, then the egg wash, and then the pork rinds. Put it on your tray and pop it into the air fryer. And we're gonna air fry this at 400 degrees for around six minutes. So you can easily have fries on nights that you make up burgers because this really only takes maybe like 10 minutes to make. It's an easy keto side dish. Another way that you can have avocado is to have a stuffed avocado. And there's many different things that you can stuff inside of an avocado. I've showed you guys how to make an egg in the hole before, where egg in an avocado and bake that. I've seen it where some people will put like sushi toppings and put it on side, inside an avocado, that's delicious. But today I wanna show you how to make a buffalo chicken stuffed avocado. This recipe starts in the skillet. So we're gonna add in some pre-cooked chicken. This is around two cups of cooked shredded chicken. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of buffalo sauce. And we're gonna simmer this until it's thickened and the mixture has reduced. Remove it from the heat, stir in some lemon juice for a little bit of bite. And then you're gonna add a quarter cup of sour cream and four ounces of cream cheese. Stir it together until all the cheese is melted and there's your topping. It's all ready to stuff into your avocado. Sprinkle with some additional cheese and pop it in a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. Now since we've made buffalo chicken, I like to garnish it with a little bit of blue cheese. Now up next is a way that you might have never had thought to have avocado and that's to make avocado crackers or chips. And this recipe is easy, kids love it too. It reminds me of those uh, wisp crackers that you can get, but they're made with avocado. We're also gonna be using a food processor for this recipe. So in here I have one avocado. We're gonna add three quarter cups of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of lime juice, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, and a little bit of salt. Blend that together until it's smooth, and then you're gonna scoop out a little bit and put it on a parchment lined baking tray and smash it down with the back of your spoon. We're gonna bake these in a 325 degree oven for 30 minutes. And now you have some chips. It's a great snack and kids love them too. Plus this recipe is actually customizable. Play around with different cheeses or flavor combinations. There's so many different things that you can try. Well, I think that was 10 ways that you guys can use avocado on the keto diet. If you guys have any more suggestions or more ways to use avocado, make sure you comment them down below because we'd love to hear your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss any of my videos. Have a good one, bye.